we're going to go ahead and install the manual, the manual master with the help of Motion Raceworks. So you buy their kit and you get something, something kind of like this, but with more attractive boxing. So their kit comes with master cylinder, all the bracket, rod end, bolts, fastener, hardware, whatever you want to call it. And the other half, the push rod and the fittings. So when you order from Motion, go ahead, call Brock, right? He used to have a mullet, it was all glorious, but he, he got a haircut for some reason. Anyways, you put the order in through Brock, use the order, the promo code Tyler needs a puppy, and nothing happens other than let's Tyler Sandow know you should get a dog. Once you do that, Doug will personally stop playing Mario Kart and then box up your order. He has his dog, Teddy. Make sure that all of the parts are correct in there and no dog treats accidentally got in there and then it's on the way. Doug probably doesn't do the box. All right, since I can't get the uh, tripod in here, what we got to do to get the master out, there's the column. Up here, up here, there's four studs with nuts on them that you got to take them off. And then right over yonder on the brake pedal, there's a little clip. You pop that off. And then the push rod goes all the way into the master. Just, just hangs there. Once you've got those four out, right, two on this side, two over down there. Once you got those four out plus that clip, then the master and booster are ready to come out. Right, so what you guys saw yesterday, I removed the old booster, master, and proportioning valve, and now we've got to take this adapter plate hold it up here and figure out where we need to drill for, where we need to redrill the firewall for the master to move up. It's gotta move up so that the leverage on the arm is correct, is the correct ratio for the master cylinder versus power brakes. Power brakes don't need as much leverage as a, the stock, uh, as a, a manual master will. So we go ahead and you can either use the adapter itself or a super fancy, super fancy template. Either one works. mocking up the master, putting the push rod in place to identify the new pivot point on the brake pedal. I showed drilling it. I also didn't show the actual final bolt up of the master with the pedals. Mostly because I needed help and I didn't think you wanted to watch one person holding a wrench on one side of the firewall and me underneath the dash right because there's just not a whole lot of room for the camera and me and uh, who wants to see a random guy from my work so anyways I didn't film that but if you watch the video I link up here or maybe up here I don't know which corner it'll, it'll end up being in but I'll, I'll link that video that Doug made a little while back putting the putting the manual brakes on the banana 
wild banana, something they're calling it, yellow S10 thing. Doug did a great job explaining absolutely everything. Every little step. I wanted to make a video on doing it on a third gen instead of an S10. Right, so once you get it all bolted up, uh, the last thing to do is make new brake lines unless yours happen to be long enough. But since we essentially moved the master back, right, the master was about here, we moved it back about six inches, your brake lines probably aren't going to fit anymore. Further complicated by that I needed, didn't need, wanted a new proportioning valve and to install a line lock. I'll have a video on that coming out next. Alright, let's talk about some numbers. So one of the big pros for switching to a manual other than I wanted more space and less weight. So let's talk about weight. The factory brake, master power brakes, and proportioning valve weighed 15 pounds. The strange master that came in the motion kit came in at 5 pounds, so lost 10 pounds there. Something I failed to mention in the last video was the weight on the Willwoods. For each side, the factory brakes weighed 27.8 pounds and the Willwoods weighed 17.4 pounds, so 10 pounds per side. So all that said, I lost 30 pounds off the front end. One additional expense right oversight on my part was that the Willwood kit uses half inch studs versus the 12 millimeter I think whatever metric that the stock brakes had so I had to buy new lug nuts okay, so with all that being said I'm I'm done with the brakes uh, all I've got left to do is get the brakes bled and then uh, get this project wrapped up so be on the lookout the next one coming up be on the line lock install and uh, finish tearing that down. Go, because now Ace is finally, finally ditching the factory ECU. He decided to grow up and switch to Holly, uh, and he's got uh, a thousand questions. So I gotta go tend to him. <laughs>